horrible? Stardew Valley. For the fans. And for me. Where the hell's my watering can? I accidentally threw it away. Waiting for your therapy session to be in. Let's go therapy. Oh no, my chickens are happy. You shouldn't buy Stardew Valley and buy this roguelike and only play that game until you beat it. Yep. Only play that roguelike game until you beat it. 450 hours. Have fun. One of the worst RPGs ever made, according to Reddit. Reddit has never been wrong before. N give me a time where Reddit was wrong. I'll wait. I am enjoying Stardew. My day, I could literally just play this for 10 hours all day and just be content with that. Now, am I going to do that? No, probably not. I shouldn't because I need to go relax and enjoy life for a little bit. But I could. I could play Stardew all day. What up, Kidra? Boston shooter. Did Reddit call him, like, handsome or something? You ever realize how, uh... People will uh, shrug off horrible acts others have done just because they look kind of handsome. You ever notice that? And think, man, what a society we live in. They witch hunted and doxed the wrong guy. Oh. And it resulted in his death. Oh. People do that with your stream all the time. <laughs> Wait till I take the hat off, then I get thrown in prison. Way to go, Reddit. Not Ron. Way to go, Ron. Oh, I sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. I got lots of potatoes growing, so fuck it. I'm just selling all of them. What do you want, kitties? Oh, you want water too? Sure, I guess. I need to find a damn dandelion, man. So does anyone know if writing an appeal to a rental denial was worth it? Do you feel you were wrongly denied for... a reason that's not so valid? Also, kids, I hope you're doing good. When I was first trying to find an apartment in Canada, when I was still living with Kat's mom, and I was trying to get our first place together, nobody would take me seriously because A, I had no credit score in Canada because I just moved there, and B, I didn't have a real job in their eyes because I didn't have fucking W-2 forms or the equivalent to W-2s, like T-5s. So nobody took me seriously. And then I found an apartment in the exact same complex, and I just took it, even though the building wasn't that great. I just had to take it because I was like, you know, this is better than nothing. I got a gotta start off somewhere, you know? They were pretty vague, saying they were worried about the financial security of our situation, but we have good credit and good rent in history, just student loans and auto loans. They were worried about the financial security of our situation? Sounds like a cop-out. Gotta get the foot in the door. Yeah, me getting my foot in the door that way has led to us living in this apartment, which, Brendan, when you come see it, because when you, when you move to Alberta as well, because you definitely will move to Alberta, please and thank you. 
uh, you'll be like, wow, what a great shop. Or what a great thing. Five. Okay, I need five coppers. Those civil cases also take so goddamn long when you have to, like, go to court and whatnot. I guess it's how badly did you want to live there. May still be up in the air. It's not that bad here in Alberta. It was like super perfect. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't. I'm sorry they seem to be uh, poopy poopy butts butts. That's how I felt when I saw this apartment and saw the price. You all know how much you all know how much confidence I had in this apartment because I had a friend vouch for it as well. I was so confident I didn't even get a tour of the apartment I, before I had a lease. I had a lease before I ever even set foot in Alberta. I always place museum donations like a madman. I don't know what to do with those. I just place them down and I'm just like, okay. What, people actually care which way you put these museum donations? That's not good. You're the worst. Uh, I have been, I've been called worse. I've been called worse than the worst. Can you rearrange them after you're done? Or are they stuck there forever? Give me that damn bamboo pole, you son of a bitch. Wait, I already had a bamboo pole. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, well, that goes 500 bucks. Wait, I need to find a dandelion. There probably is, Alex. The people that really like Stardew Valley, they're gonna be losing their mind with me playing it. I'm the absolute worst person for Stardew Valley. Weird. This is the greatest stream game of your life. I wonder if anybody was going to pick Stardew Valley if they won marbles. Was anyone like, you know, I want to see Stardew Valley. Me? Oh, wow, look at this now. Look at us now. Oh, look at us now. Yeah, yeah. For sure, I know, motherfucker. Imagine someone walks into your fishing shop, buys a fishing pole, then immediately throws it into the trash in front of you. <laughs> Talking about me? I would never. He should have sold me a fiberglass rod for cheap. I'm his only customer. Another Dong and Rampa game? Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm s Listen, the last Dong and Rampa game may have been six months ago almost. I uh, am still not ready for another one. If I was rich like A1, I would have gifted 100 subs for you to not play Stardew. I don't think A1's rich. Has it already been that long? It's been about six months. Give or take. Plant these in the summer. Ooh, I got some summer seeds, some melons. Anyone get the 100 subs or something like this is rich to me? I just save money.
You guys have money? That dying and Rampa's cooldown is uh, off the charts when you think about it. Okay, what do you guys do with salmon berries? Do you just sell them? They seem like a good thing to take into the mines when you need some extra food. They all, they just seem like a good m thing for the mines. I invest my money into streamers. Yeah, okay, where's that bit badge? You had money to pay for rent yesterday? I wonder if my rent got paid, because they put on automatic withdrawal. So I think I'm actually broke now, too. I don't have anything to turn trash into anything. Let me see. But my rent's going to go down in the next few months because of a rent subsidiary program, so that's nice. Make me a little less stress. Damn, okay, game nerd. I'm sorry I called you out. God damn, I didn't know you were such a simp. Wait a minute, I'm checking if my rent got paid. Yeah, I got accepted for the rent subsidiary, which was very nice. My rent did not go through. I'm going to email them and say, hey, I've noticed that the rent has not gone through yet, even though you said it was... Because they told me, the person I was talking to, they told me, they were like, yeah, don't worry about paying the rent. It'll be automatically withdrawn. So I'm going to email them if I can find them because I have all these emails I have to go through. What was her name again? Uh, sorry. Because they also said the, to uh, stay qualified for their rent subsidiary program, you had to stay paying your rent. Like, listen, I like the idea of automatic stuff. I pay bills automatically. I check the accounts to make sure I have the money and all that. But for something like rent, you know, like, God. I don't mind paying it every month, you know? I don't mind. I'll log in and do a transfer from the bank. It ain't that big of a deal to me. And now I check my bank and it hasn't taken my money yet for rent. So now it's like, okay, wait a minute. Is it just like delayed or should I send the money? Should I send the money myself? Like what's going on here? Work is so quiet with all your work, BFF. I hope they're living their best life. You had a meeting with your mortgage broker today and your buying costs will be less than you thought. Ooh. 
How does it feel being an adult and buying a house? How does it feel, homeowners, to be a homeowner? I know there's some homeowners in here. One said it was a scam earlier. It feels like debt. Is it a scam? Relying on other people to get stuff done is more often than not a pain in the asshole. Yeah, they said to me, your rent will automatically be paid because they gave, I gave them a goddamn pad agreement. And I was like, okay. Automatic withdrawal, cool, but... It goes the wrong way to deal with it yourself. Uh, I don't want to deal with anything myself. Finally, get rid of this damn grass. Luckily, end up doing some PC upgrades later this year. Nice. I probably need to get a new PC as well this year. Oh my god, it's Linus digging through the trash. Sounds like those raccoons are back, filthy vermins. Hey, do any of you talk trash to Linus for eating from the trash here? If you do, go to hell. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare up those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. You're not allowed to talk trash to Linus in this situation. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Burr. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's garbage anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry, but I still charge out the ass for all my food. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Common Gus W. Giving out zucchini fritters and not even charging 500 gold. Listen, we know this guy's rich. A 10,000 gold bill at the end of winter. All right, we completed our first bundle. An assortment of wild seeds. What do I do with these? Do I just plant them? Gus, bus, gus, bus, gus, bus, gus, bus. Pantry. 
Oh, look at the spring crops that we need. Qual oh god, we need five golden parsnips. Five golden parsnips. I gotta, I gotta start planting some more parsnips. If I need five golden ones. River fish? What do I have? Smallmouth bass. And a sardine and an anchovy. I have an eel. Don't have a bream or a walleye. Nope. 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 The crab pot bundle. All right. Five golden parsnips. I think I have like one golden parsnip. One golden parsnip. Oh, wait, there's something on this. I have a cave carrot. I need a cave carrot for dessert. I'm making, could someone bring me one? Yeah, I got you. I got you, George. He needs a cave carrot. Wouldn't he rather have a regular carrot, though? I'll point it out. Why? What the fuck does he want cave carrots for? I have one golden parsnip. One golden parsnip. Eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. All right, I hope it rains tomorrow. Oh, baby, we're starting to make some money. We made a sweet thousand Gs. We can buy three things of spaghetti. Spirits are in good humor today. I think you have a little extra luck. stuff holy moly wait this is a great opportunity to get a sprinkler no i don't i can't make a sprinkler i don't have a copper bar or i don't have an iron bar what's your spaghetti policy here you don't want to know my fucking spaghetti policy you don't even want to know spaghetti policy 303 Might as well sell some stuff. I think I'm just gonna buy a bunch of parsnips to plant because I want to get five golden ones. So some people have asked, what's the goal for this playthrough? I guess my goal will be to complete the community center. Which would definitely take me some time, but... One hundred percent of achievements. Doesn't that require two playthroughs? Because then you have to become an evil capitalistic pig.
Bro, they put an egg right where the goddamn exit was. Paying off JoJo's real easy. Communist! I gotta get my damn tools upgraded as well, man. I just, are blueberries still OP? How many large eggs do I need for the community center though? Because there was like two different eggs on there. And I think they had a mayonnaise on there as well. No sprinkle yet? I don't got no copper bars or iron bars. One brown, one white, both large. Or one large, one not large. Both large, okay. Let's bring a parsnip and a green bean and a potato. Get the cauliflower with us. I think that's all the spring bundle stuff that we need. Ay 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 man. This game is t <sighs> This game is too fun. Like when you first start it it's so fun just starting up Stardew and getting everything and doing it all again. Then you hear this funky music. It's Pam's birthday! Yo, I'm gonna buy her a beer for her birthday. What the fuck is this? Burr. I don't know how I got in your room, but I did. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. <sighs> so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Yeah, beer's the easiest to make Pam happy. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Wait, what happened? Are we not supposed to take the money? I guess we're not supposed to take the money. Oh, did I crash into them? She got hit like five times. 
That hurts my hand, freaking using that. Hey, that was fun. Well, thanks, Murray. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. What's she implying? I need gold parsnips. The joystick is a metaphor for dicks. Yep. Beating this full game without taking a hit was very satisfying an achievement to finally get. Do you have to play with Abigail? How many levels is it? Would you recommend me to do it? No, like 12, and sure. 12 levels total without taking a hit? I've never used the speed grow stuff in Stardew. Never used it before. If I maybe, maybe I one day I'll go for it. I do like my achievement hunting. Okay, we got two of those. Alright, let's go back. I need to go to the mines to get a cave carrot for George. Times it eleven thirty four. Man, I've got twenty five more minutes of star doing. I know, it's heartbreaking. If we hit the weekly goal, can the Friday stream just be Stardew? Just Stardew? You want 12 hours of Stardew on Friday? Sure, if the weekly goal gets hit, I'll play 12 hours of Stardew Valley. When I stop playing this, it'll be like when you stop playing Animal Crossing, I'll break your heart again. So enjoy it while it lasts! Be sure to hear be sure to be here all the time. Oh, I would definitely enjoy 12 hours of Stardew. If the weekly goal gets it, I'll play Stardew all day. Luckily, you have uh, four days to hit it. This man still just raw dog and leaks. Damn right I am. I'm here to get a cave carrot for my boy George. Oh, I got a little dagger. Okay. 24 hour stream? No. I've already told Kat to make sure I never do a 24 hour stream again. I can't do them. I get too tired. Day, all day is a 12-hour stream. Whoops. 
I do not like this sword that much. I get, I get, I, I can't do it anymore. I just get too tired. Plus, 24-hour stream, is that even worth it? None of you are up for 24 hours with me. Listen, I've done two 36-hour streams. That makes up for 24-hour streams. Never need to do that again. Oh, hitting it with the pick first would be kind of smart. Smart, smart, smart. Why are you here using the worst weapon in the game? I got it because it was the cheapest. Cheapest for a reason, I know. Finally, I can actually use my energy. It's already 5 p.m., man. Spend money on that? Oh, shut up! Sorry I'm not a Stardew Valley Wikipedia like you are. Or encyclopedia. My insult doesn't work anymore because I'm an idiot. I say that, but I'm like a Darkest Dungeon Encyclopedia. Ask me a Darkest Dungeon question, there's a high chance I can answer it on the spot. have the wiki up for me thank god because i don't have it open my goal is to never open the wiki of stardew valley when playing you got taco bell Dude, I gotta leave the mine. I can't fight those fucking things. They're gonna kill me. Darkest Dungeon really is the Darkest Dungeon. And why is there a Darkest Dungeon 2? That is a good question. And the funny thing is, there isn't even any dungeons in Darkest Dungeon 2. Kind of. Do you got a better sword I can use, man? You got a wooden blade. There we go. Yeah, the sword at least hits those flying bugs back. Who the hell is going to use a dagger against those things? That just sounds like a waste of time. And based off what I just did, it was a waste of time. Wait, I have to have something for you. I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. I need to remember to buy Pam a beer for her birthday, though. Thanks, this is really nice. You're welcome. Avocado verde sauce? That sounds okay. I guess it depends on what you have. What else, what else you have with it, but... Hey, yo, what time does uh, the Gus's saloon close? I can get Pam a beer before, I, before it closes, hopefully. 
Oh, silly man, it doesn't close. Oh! 1 a.m., I'll have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Midnight? Ah, oh, we got plenty of time. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thank you. Oh, wow, Burr. How'd you know this is my favorite? Ah, oh, everything about you speaks alcoholic, so why not try? Shane fans be like, I can fix him. Yeah, they also say the same thing about Sebastian. This is where Bren goes, okay, but I can fix him. You like spicy food or no? I do like spicy food. I think I eat it a little too much, but spicy food is really, really good. And the Diablo sauce at Taco Bell ain't spicy enough in my opinion. What happens if I give this guy a clam? Would he like that? Guess we'll never know. I come out the fish next to Willie and he leaves immediately. What an asshole. Thought you could use some company, Willie. Ghost pepper's a little too much for me. It's getting late, it is 10.30 p.m. Never too late for a good old fishing session with your boy. Ooh, halibut. All right, last fish. Last fish magic. Last fish magic. I had Popeye's ghost pepper wings like a year ago when they were first advertising them. I didn't really like them that much. Sims 4, that's a game I would not play. I think The Sims would be incredibly boring to watch. And also incredibly boring to play. I say that as I play Stardew Valley, but... They weren't that spicy. Yeah, I don't even think they were that spicy for me either. They were kind of disappointing. I'll organize the rest when I wake up. Fi-Fi and GC. Fi-Fi and GC don't play The Sims. Cozy games, yeah, cozy games aren't really that good stream games. Stardew is like an okay stream game because since everybody already loves Stardew, most people already love Stardew, it makes it an okay stream game. Man, everything's leveling up. Damn, I had a little bit of everything that day. Yeah, Kalisar, the stuff they advertise as spicy is never super, super spicy. <laughs> oh, my life will be difficult. 
beautiful sunny day tomorrow. That's horrible. Would I consider Minecraft a cozy game? I'd consider Minecraft a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, I would consider Minecraft on the cozy spectrum, I guess. It's it's uh it, it it's a relaxing experience for a lot of people. Rice in its rawest form, run this through a mill to increase the value. Nice. Look how nice the- uh, Guys, I still need to get George's goddamn, uh... Get George's goddamn car cave carrot. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Hey, kid, here's the recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make. Cook it slow. Cheese cauliflower. Thanks, Pam. I have a request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? Yeah, sure. Oh, I only have one cauliflower. I'll bring it to you, I guess. I only have one, but... You know what they say, Sharon is Karen. I really need to build a well so I can refill my water right next to me. We'll be done for all this water and eventually. Don't worry, I have more cauliflower planted that will be done in like eight days. Also, I asked this, but I can't remember if it got answered, but are blueberries still incredibly overpowered in this game during the summer? Because the last time I played blueberries, or the first time I played, blueberries made you so much money in the summer. It was kind of like, just get blueberries and you're a millionaire. Yo, blueberry nerf. My day is ruined. I'm a blueberry main. My farm is in shambles. The economy is collapsing. Pelican Town is in Pelican Town is in a depression because the blueberries got nerfed. Way to go, Mayor Lewis. You running for re-election? You ain't getting it. Not off this blueberry nerf. There we go, we got two furnaces cooking now. I don't know where I'm putting all my stuff, so I guess I'll just throw it in here. No, I need the hoe. All right, let's continue on with our day now. They haven't been nerfed since 1.1. Well, I think I played as with the blueberries before 1.1 was a thing. Because I played this game when it first came out. So blueberries might be nerfed to me. Warn Earth Crystal at three times the market value. Please deliver directly to me. I might have an Earth Crystal. Wait a minute. 
80 to 50. Oh! They nerfed the hell out of them. TV's measured in height, width, or neither. Yeah, it's usually diagonally across. 70 inch TV means your TV is 70 inches wide. They're, think of it this way. They're measured horizontally. Like a 70 inch TV is not going to be 70 inches sticking out of the wall. It's 70 inches from left to right. And I love my giant TV. It's not horizontal. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes, is that's how big the TV is. Are you telling me they measure TVs diagonally? What? No, you're lying to me. You're lying. They don't measure TVs diagonally. Who the fuck is Jody? Go measure your TV straight across and tell us how long it is. No shot! You learn something new every day. We listen to this man all day. It's your fault. Listen, how often am I looking at TV boxes? How often am I how often am I looking at TV boxes? This guy wanted a goddamn earth crystal for some reason. I need to give Judy a cauliflower still. Or Jody. Who's Jody? Jody. Takes 28 days to produce a mature orange tree, bears fruit in the summer, only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. Takes 28 days? I should have grown this the first day of spring. I guess I should still probably grow it now. It won't die in the middle of winter, would it? Damn, where's your wife, man? I got a goddamn cauliflower for her. <laughs> oh, wait, a greenhouse planting would be kind of big. Who the fuck is Jody? Is she in here then? Oh my god, I think Jody got murdered. Sorry, bro, I don't like this. Oh, shit, my bad. Eighteen trees and a hundred nineteen crops. I've never had a greenhouse in this game, I don't think. Don't think I've ever had a greenhouse in this game.
Dude, where is Jody? on your map these guys don't appear on the map oh that'd be way too convenient she's making me waste my whole goddamn day trying to find her That's Granny Evelyn, that's not Jody. You are not Jody. Did I check the store? I did. She was not there. Maybe she's in this store. Oh my god, she was. That looks so delicious. Hey, this is what I want. I'm just going to be perked for my yellow curry. I wasted most of my day for that. I, who the hell likes a daffodil? I don't think anybody likes a daffodil. just make it so everybody likes staff of those so I can get rid of them. The desert lady loves them. Pam? That's unfortunate. Fuck ass likes them. Your husband Harvey likes them? Is that what you're telling me? Your hubby wubby, who you love so dearly. Does she like him? Damn. Wait, I need to find Robin Zach, so that's what I should do with my last few hours on this day. My last few hours in the day, I should just do this. Now, how you misplace an axe is beyond me, but... That's a nice hat. Me. Man, I really need money to save for all this stuff. Also me spends a thousand gold on a silly little hat.
A chub. Hey, it's a nice little hat. Isn't the greenhouse from filling in the community center or something? Or something in the community center? I think that's how you get to the desert, because you repair the bus. Another successful day in Hyuckville. I don't know why they let the town drunk be the bus driver. <laughs> hey, they need someone to be the bus driver. Nothing like the town alcoholic for it. All that money we made. What the fuck? Mystery boxes can now be found. Never seen these before. Tits in my mouth farm. And our dog is called Yupik because they couldn't think of a name and told me to pick Yupik. Yupik. Tits in my mouth. <laughs> like and subscribe. Let's play channel. Stardew.